folks welcome back so today is jerk chicken day jamaican style okay so we cutting up getting our chicken all ready clean up reduce a little bit of the fat and some of the unwanted stuff so we're getting it to prepare and then we're gonna marinate with some jamaican herbs and spice Remember when you're cooking jerk chicken, you don't need to take the skin. Skin need to stay on the chicken. It's a, pro it's a protection. Yes, the skin is used to protect the chicken from getting burned. So you leave the skin on. You can reduce the fat a little bit, but leave the skin on. See this leg quarters, leg and tie. I can. Okay, so this is where the magic at right now. This is all the good old herbs and spice and stuff. Your garlic, your scallion, your pepper, your thyme, you name it. We got it. So I'm just pretty much breaking them down a little bit and then I'm gonna pop them right up here into the blender and I'm gonna get them liquefied. magic right here ginger root Bam. I'm just gonna pop a little soy sauce just to help get all these herbs and stuff liquefy all natural herbs and spice all grinded and so pretty much this And this pretty much almost the same thing except this is better homemade so we're gonna apply we're gonna apply a bit of that and we're gonna kick it up with that Now we're pretty much applying all them spices now. Some black pepper. Onion powder. With the Creole Tonys, you know, Tony, Tony, Tony. And remember when you're using this seasoning you don't have to add any salt because this seasoning they already made up with salt based it's garlic salt yes yeah, so you gotta take it easy in that And then we're gonna mix, mix that flavor in. Gonna rub that flavor in. And this is the trick right here now because we're doing the jerk chicken in the oven. We're not doing it on the grill outside, so we apply a little browning so you can get that dark color that you're looking for. If you were doing it on the grill outside, there's no need for you to apply any browning because the fire is going to give it the dark shade that you're looking for. So we're going to apply a little bit of browning to get a nice, nice dark look.
go. Let's see, you got all that goodies, all that good marinade. Yeah. Getting into the chicken. So one of the things, cooking jerk chicken Jamaican style, the best wood to use to cook that chicken to give it that flavor is uh, like the pimento wood or you know, so you can get a little cinnamon flavor. We don't got the pimento wood right now, so we're gonna use the cinnamon, apply a little cinnamon so you can get that nice flavor and a little bit of nothing meg. A lot of people don't know that, but it's all spice and it's all good. Most people use it only for baking, but you know your way around the kitchen, you can use it for lots and lots of different stuff. Yeah. And last but not least, the major player, one of the major player in New York, a little pimento seed. So we're getting our containers ready to put our chicken in the oven. You just apply a little grease. You're not gonna put any oil because chicken produces its own oil. So you just spray grease a little bit and you're good to go. Like I said, you don't tear the skin off, you leave the skin for protection. And you always try to get the chicken face down, skin up, so no burn marks. Ready for the oven. Here we go. Go in. Spingo rice and peas. Jerk chicken. Some steamed cabbage and broccoli. And that's the juice from the chicken that I extracted and I made my home style jerk sauce gravy. Gravy sauce. Good to go. Okay my people, so that's how we roll and how we roll kitchen and that's a finishing touch. And that's my jerk chicken, my gongo rice and peas with my homemade jerk sauce or jerk gravy some people say and some steamed broccoli and some steamed cabbage thanks for visiting see you soon again all right thumbs up